welcome to 22nd of May's Holy Blessing. Supreme God Father, Shiv Baba, He is teaching us that how we can interact with the world, interact with the five elements, interact with all the souls in the world and be Maya Jeet and always work as a trustee so that none of the situations, none of the obstacles feel like obstacles, they feel as if it's a game. Life is a game, right? But do we treat it as a game or do we take it too seriously? So God here says, may you be a fortunate soul who makes all interaction with everyone easy on the basis of your doing everything in the name of God. Paramat, in the name of God. I'm doing everything in the name of God. Every karma in the name of God. Whether you're constructing, whether you are creating, whether you're developing, whether you are working in a job, whether you're in a business, everything is in the name of God. But you can't be doing evil things and saying it's in the name of God. It's very simple to understand, right? But to know what is evil and what is not evil, that means what is good, you'll have to come to Brahma Kumaris and understand the karma philosophy. God says, for half a cycle, you have been making a lot of effort in your interactions. That means we have been doing a lot of bhakti, we have been doing a lot of toil in going to places of worship. We have been doing havan, jap, tap, penance and even donations. In doing do devotion and on the field of religion, you have been, you have now been liberated from making that effort. Now God says, now it's become very simple. It's, we are going from physical gross to metaphysical. That is going to subtle form. That means now we don't need to show outside that we love God. We can behave, act in that manner. All your interactions have now become easy on the basis of your doing everything in the name of God. So interactions earlier were all confused, all full of greed, jealousy, mine, my and mine. And that's where the confusion used to come. That's where people used to have fights, divorces, and even, uh, even uh, war or let's say anger or fight towards property and other things. But now I'm doing everything in terms of God. There can't be any jealousy, right? I'm doing everything for God. Even if you're doing a job, it's for the sake of God. If you're doing your business, it's for the sake of God. If you're constructing something, it's for the sake of God. If you're making something, it's for the sake of God. If you, Even if you're donating, it's for the sake of God. But what kind of donations and whom should it go to is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris so that you are protected from doing a wrong karma. All your interactions have now become easy on the basis of your doing everything in the name of God. You do everything just in name as an instrument as an instrument we're not doing everything as an owner owner is God but we are just instruments we're taking care of things just like a father is the owner and you're taking care of the house that means you're taking care of your father's house you're not taking care of your own house yes you own it in the end but you're trusting in the beginning God then says those who do everything as instruments experience everything to be constantly easy. But if you think of everything as yours, then you can get into anger, you can get into jealousy, you can get into blame work, complaining, why did you spoil this work, it's mine, you broke this, you did this. And that's why God says, be a trustee, be somebody who's just taking care of things and who doesn't own anything. Ownership brings all those negative feelings, whereas a trustee, feeling of a trustee doesn't bring all those negative feelings. They are not storms of Maya, but according to the drama, they are gifts to move you forward. So you have been liberated from making any effort, making that effort. Have you not? God is asking me. But that kind of feeling can only come when you come to Brahma Kumaris and you learn the art of becoming a trustee. Maintain the awareness. I am an elevated soul who has saved myself from making such effort. We should be happy that we don't have to, we now don't have to go through all those different forms of worships and devotions where we never changed ourselves internally but we were showing everything externally that I'm doing so much of puja, I'm doing so much of part, I'm doing so much of bhakti but it is actually supposed to be done inwardly and that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris, that's what we learn in Spirit 